Hi everyone, it's TechDad. In today's video, I will answer this question. What PC virtual reality headset do I prefer between the Oculus Quest using the Oculus Link and the Oculus Rift S? An important disclaimer needs to be said, however. This opinion is based on the Oculus Link beta experience as of the end of 2019 with my own 3.0 USB cable. It's the best experience we can have right now, but this could change in the future with all the improvements that Oculus will make to the link. But right now, if you are in the process of buying a VR headset, we have to work with the information that we have right now. I have already made a comparison video of each of these VR headsets with the Samsung Odyssey Plus. If you haven't seen these videos, please check the links in the description below. In this video, I want to list or highlight the main reason for buying a PC VR headset over the other. I will not fully review these headsets in this specific video. For example, the audio sucks for both of these headsets, but the goal here is not to talk about similar performances between the two. For those who are new to VR, the Rift S and the Quest use the same Oculus Touch controller. So why should you choose to buy a Rift S? For most people, the Rift S is a very comfortable headset, thanks to the ill design borrowed from the PSVR by Lenovo. Yes, Lenovo makes the Rift S and it feels cheaper than the Quest and the Rift CV1. But all in all, the Rift S seems to be well constructed. The Rift is light and the weight is well balanced around the head. It's not the case for the Quest. Because it has to house the battery and all the processing power in the front part, the Quest is front heavy. The behind the head strap does a bad job at balancing the headset unfortunately. The Quest is just not comfortable. Using the link, you need to add a cable that eliminates the only advantage of the Quest comfort wise. A second reason will be that the Rift S uses a LCD screen with a lower resolution than the OLED screen of the Quest. However, it has more sub-pixel because each pixel is composed of three sub-pixel instead of two. This is an advantage in theory for the screen door effect. The Rift S is quite a major leap at that compared to the original Rift. I don't see that much of a difference compared with the Quest using the link for screen door effect. That brings me to the third reason to buy a Rift The quality of the lenses and the LCD screen make for a very sharp image considering the relatively low resolution when we compare with the Quest and the Odyssey Plus. The quality of the lenses is top notch and the image is clear almost all around. That was not the case with the Odyssey Plus. The lenses on the Quest are also very good, but the image is compressed to be transmitted via USB. The best word to describe the image on the Quest using the link it's, is, is soft, it lacks sharpness. When playing most game on the link, it's not bad at all, but it shows when reading text. When checking my time or my position in sim racing, it was clearly not as easy as on the Rift Also, I don't know if I'm crazy, but the Oculus Home doesn't look good at all on the link. Maybe Oculus will be able to improve the image quality with time on the link, and I'm sure they will do. But don't forget we are in beta at the time of filming this video. But. If you want the best looking VR headset on PC by Oculus right now or even in the future, it's the Rift S. Even if the Quest had some advantages on the visual front that we will talk about soon. Another reason to prefer the Rift S is the fact that the tracking volume is larger on the Rift S with the 5 cameras compared with the 4 on the Quest. But all in all, right now, both headsets are in a league of their own for inside-out tracking. Since all the patch that were made since launch, everything works pretty well right now and compared to Windows Mixed Reality, it is better. And do we have to talk about the Cosmos? I don't think so. But with my limited time uh, with the Oculus Link, I can say that the Rift is a bit better on the tracking front especially for games like FPS games or maybe games where you have to put your hands on top of your head pretty often 
then the refresh is a bit better than the Quest. A fifth reason will be that the refresh runs at 80Hz, which is already a drop from the 90Hz of most PC VR headsets on the market, including the original Rift. But the Quest does only run at 72Hz. I'm not sure I'm really seeing a difference to tell you the truth, but I seem to kind of get some more headaches on the Quest using the link and maybe it's just due to comfort, I don't know but I felt better when using the Rifes but I think it's maybe more of a combination of the low refresh rate of the Quest combined with the lack of sharpness of the link I'll see in the future if it improves with time and with future updates the final and sixth reason to buy a Rifes will be the performances Right now, the link is in beta and it shows in multiple games, especially in Steam VR. Frame rate is actually quite bad in multiple graphic intensive games. Think of Project Cars 2, for example. Speaking of sim racing, the audio has its fair share of problem with the link on games like Dirt Rally and Assetto Corsa, for example, where there is a constant cracking noise for many of us. In the end, the link is still in beta, everything is normal, it will improve with time, but we can't be sure of the end result. Also, don't forget that your PC has to work harder with the link to encode the streaming video and communicate with the Quest. And now I have three reasons to buy the Oculus Link for PC VR, and the top reason will be the mechanical IPD adjustment. A lot of players just can't use the refresh at all because of the lack of IPD adjustment. That was a bad decision from Oculus. These players were forced to buy from another company. Now there is an option from Oculus and it's the Oculus Link. A second reason will be that the OLED screen of the Quest provide far better colors and blacks than the LCD screen of the refresh. No doubt about that. If only the image was as sharp as the refresh. But if you mainly play game in dark environment like Elite Dangerous, you might enjoy more the Quest visual. And the final and third reason to prefer the Oculus Quest with the Link is the fact that the future is brighter for future innovation on the Quest than the refresh. Oculus seems to put all his hopes for the breakthrough of VR on the shoulder of the Quest. For example, at the last Oculus Connect conference, it was all about the Quest and almost nothing about the Refest. This includes the end tracking that was shown and announced for the Quest only at that conference. We will see what the future holds for the Refest, but it's a little bit like the unwanted child in the family that Oculus made with Lenovo. In conclusion, for me, there is a clear winner now for PC VR, but that could change in the future. We'll see. Visually, the Refest is a better PC VR asset overall than the Quest using the Link, and it's also more comfortable, and the performance are also better in most games, including Steam VR. But the biggest advantages to buy a Quest is the fact that it is not a PC VR asset. If you factor in the possibility to play Quest games wirelessly, think Beat Saber, Pistol Whip, the Quest is also a great buy. The Quest can do things that no other VR headset can even dream of. The Quest is a technical masterpiece when you think about it. And in the end, it's your choice based on your own usage. If you are planning to play Quest games, the Quest is the way to go as I think that the Oculus Link is good enough not to buy both headsets. If you don't care at all about Quest games, and be sure about that, then the Refes is a better PC VR headset for now at least. In the end, the Oculus Quest is the safer buy if you are looking to buy only one headset and everyone can use it including your friends with the IPD slider. Thank you all, it was TechDan, please think about subscribing if you are new here, see you next time, ciao!